Hello, Dwayne Lessner from Nutanix on the technical marketing team, bringing you another Tech Byte video. Today, we're going to cover security groups in AWS for Nutanix clusters. Nutanix already does a variety of security measures on AOS in general. Uh, clusters being an extension of the platform, just running on a different uh, hardware provider that AWS is providing, uh, is extending that and allowing additional security features with security groups to allow you to lock down your cluster. That doesn't stop you from using Nutanix Flow and enabling micro segmentation, but it does give you some security protection out of the box. Let's go dive into this new feature. Nutanix clusters on AWS has native integration with AWS security groups. The AWS security groups act as a virtual firewall for controlling inbound and outbound traffic. These AWS security groups are automatically created upon cluster deployment. And you even do have some options for adjusting them before your cluster is even built. Now, the reason why we have these security groups deployed, um, because they allow us to protect our management components of the cluster, you know, access to Prism, uh, setting or securing access to storage, if you wanted to set up DR, you would have to adjust these security groups to allow the traffic in from your on-prem side. Uh, we also have them a way to protect the virtual machines running on top of the cluster inside of AWS without needing any third-party software to go with it. And likewise, if you wanted those virtual machines that get deployed on a Nutanix cluster to talk back to on-prem, you'd also have to adjust the security group to allow that traffic to pass through. So upon deployment, the three security groups that get deployed are internal, user management, and UVM. The internal one is really for engineering and support. It really shouldn't be touched, but you will see it in the AWS console. The user management is the one that's controlling access to HV, the storage controllers, and any of the other PRISM services. And the UVM security group is how we're protecting all of the user VMs that get deployed onto the cluster. It is one security group for all of your virtual machines that get deployed there. If we look at the picture below, we see that um, a picture from the clusters portal. Uh, here's the cluster that I have deployed and we have the cluster ID. So we can take that cluster ID and then use it to find all of the necessary security groups. Uh, in a small environment, it's pretty easy to figure out the mapping, uh, but in large environment, you can use this cluster ID to narrow down your security groups. And so on the cluster deployment, you have an option for management services. This is uh, what was referring to the user uh, management uh, security group. And so if whatever addresses you put in there will be allowed to talk to all of the PRISM services. So if you have an on-prem cluster, you would like to put that subnet in. So your on-prem cluster could then talk to this cluster, allowing you to do store uh, replication if you're trying to migrate or do DR. Uh, that's something you can always add uh, more IPs after the fact by going into AWS and adjusting this accordingly. And so here is a look at um, a three node cluster. We have ENIs for every subnet that automatically get created on the cluster. The first ENIs are for HV and the CVMs. Uh, they are controlled by the management subnet. We have other three other subnets on the cluster and you can see that they have three different uh, subnets or CIDR notations. And so the VDI subnet is on uh, two out of the three nodes. The the reason why it's nothing appearing on the third node because we have no virtual machines uh, from that subnet appearing there. Uh, but the security group, so the VDI subnet, the database, and the file subnet are all being protected with the user VM security group. Um, so it can all be controlled that way. Now, if you needed uh, further granularity, you would use Nutanix flow to have micro segmentation to protect east-west traffic. Likewise, we see the database subnet uh, also has only two uh, 
uh, ENI is showing up across the cluster, none's appearing on node two because there's no database of virtual machines there. Uh, if one were to move there or be deployed there, the ENI would appear and the user security group would automatically protect that virtual machine. Um, here's just uh, another representation of where we see the internal security groups being deployed and managed. And so the user VMs protecting both of those um, subnets for our virtual machines. So let's go take a look inside of the AWS console. Here we have our database cluster that's currently up and running. Uh, from the clusters portal, this is the clusters portal. Here I'm going to grab my cluster ID. Uh, since we have uh, quite a few instances running in uh, my account. And so if we go into our AWS, go into our security group. So inside of the VPC section, you'll have security groups inside of security groups. We can then filter by the cluster ID that gets uh, tagged. And so here are our three security groups. Um, and if we take a look at the user management, uh, we can take a look, we see that we have no outbound rules uh, applied. And then the inbound rules, um, there's quite a few listed. And so all of the ones, uh, all of the ports you're seeing are default added. And so when the cluster was deployed, um, it gets the default one coming from the the VPC that is the default cider. And then this is the one that I typed in upon deployment. And so, or sorry, rather, this is the one that I typed in upon deployment because that's my on-prem subnet. And this is the one that is in AWS already. And so that can, you know, take care of a, a lot of work for you out of the box. And then the user VM one has some default ports for um, allowing the management services to talk through. So uh, these can be adjusted here as well. Now you should be able to go inside of your AWS account and adjust the pre-deployed security groups to allow traffic from on-prem, allow replication to come in and protect your applications. Thanks for watching.